What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield Crown Tundra and now we are about to talk to like everybody in the town and see what's up with them. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be talking to this guy. It looks like he's trying to sell something, so this is definitely not the guy to talk to bread. Yeah, you don't have anything I'd want to buy, but okay. Let's stay, stay talking to the actual people we need to be talking to. Welcome to Freezing Ton. It has been quite a journey to get there. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir. Ca carrot seeds as a souvenir? Okay. Ho ho ho, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. How about a trade? You bring me eight pieces of dynamite ore and I'll give you the seeds. Ho ho, life is all about coup de pro. Coup de pro go. I don't know. Or whatever the phrase was. Yeah, I said it right. You said it wrong. <laughs> the King of Bountiful Harvest. I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? Oh, sure. My grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale. Okay, still a fairy tale. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I'd rather busy doing nothing right now. Oh, she she <laughs> she thinks she's slick. I'm rather busy doing nothing. Oh, snap! Wait, whoa! Oh, that's Foofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it, it was just about when I found Foofy that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Foofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer to take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. Cause it, I'm totally not dependable. Is that what you're saying? How do I become dependable? Oh, this person has an Eevee. Do you like walking Pokemon together? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I have to go talk to this kid each time? I want that to happen? Oh yeah, I actually did end up catching that, uh, that Nidoran as well. Uh, it's probably trash, but that's fine. Yeah, it's physical attack is, is whack. That that really sucks. I, I actually wanted it for special attacking per, or physical attacking purposes. But that's fine. Um, I can't remember if I have rare candy or not. If I do have rare candy, then I can easily just like level up to Nito Reno. Uh, yeah, looks like I don't have rare candy. Well, that sucks. Okay. A lot of Obama snow there. The King of Bountiful Harvest. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, do I need, I need to go into that grass to get that Pokeball? I really don't want to do that right now. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely freezing team, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if only the King were real. Okay, we asked enough people. And now we can go back to uh, Calyrex and share about him letting go of Peony. Let go, my friend. Oops. Bike's a little too fast. Ah, human child, I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So, how was it? Did they say anything about me? Just that you were a fairy tale. Hmm, it is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm, oh no, of course I am not grieving. I'm the king of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Is that a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though, in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. 
My power waned, and as I was forced to part ways with it, now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I'd be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you were able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. Gah! Huh, chief with the massive noggin- or- wait, no, it's normal. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep where I stood, sorry about that, chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base to get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. Alrighty, so I guess we have to go talk to the mayor. Again, I kind of hate, like, how slow we're moving. Oh, yeah, because the mayor's not there anymore. Huh. The mayor's not home at the moment. He went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can look. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The field and the giant's bed are to the southeast of the village. Go through Frostpoint Field and just keep going to the left. Okay. Thanks, old old ladies with the the swablus. Now it's not like a bunch of- oh no, there's still Obama Snows there. Up oh, there's Eevee, if you want to catch an Eevee. I'm just hoping I'm actually going there. Oh wait! I see, uh... The other Nidoran. <laughs> I don't know, for Gen 1, it's like I loved running the game with a, Nido, a male and female Nido Ram to go get Nido King and Nido Queen. Alrighty, guys, we made it to Giant's Bed, and there's a temple here are they gonna tell me I can't go beep 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 oi oi it's me peony how are things chief what's that you found some place ruiny looking that's got to be one of those places you know where the legendary giants are supposed to be do you see a door of mysterious writing on it I hear no one's ever been able to get it open if all that's true I think I'd call this particular adventure the terrible Titans licking locked away okay Ha, well, how's that grab you? Right then, Chief, I eagerly leave the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. Alright, so, like, do we have to, like, find a way inside? Flash cannon. Is that, like, that's supposed to let us know this is, like, for a Registeel? I'm assuming? Let the ring, let ring the piercing note that will make the giant of steel. Whatever that means. Don't tell me I need uh, a bronze on to get in there. <laughs> but alright, we're in Giant's bed. We're looking for the mayor. So, hopefully run into him soon. Uh, on the map, it like shows where I need to go. See, it says I'm at the place. So do I just have to like look for the mayor around here? Because, uh... He's out here playing hide and seek or something. Unless you're supposed to be like over near these thingies. I don't know, I just... I'm just assuming. Oh, there's a Pokeball there. A cracked... Po oh, okay. They basically made it easy for you to get uh, one of the Pokemon evolutions. Okay, I'm kind of confused because it... Oh, never mind. There's the mayor. <laughs> Alas, this field is no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. <laughs> Maybe. 
What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm, <clears throat> you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth at all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. I came all the way here for you to tell me to go back there. I guess that's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, So I caught the... I got the Fiend and Nita ran. And I had a rare candy. So I evolved... Uh, Nito, Nito Reno and Nito Rano. And got Nito King and Nito Queen. I prefer Nito Queen uh, between the two. More so just because I like the color blue. So we're going to stick with Nito Queen out and about. Doing her thing. Trying to keep up with us. Struggle, 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 struggle. I don't even know why you're trying to climb up that. But alright. Let's talk to the mayor. Good old mayor. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. Hmm, you say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design in our town's souvenir sheds, but you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, dang. Oh, of course, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the king of Bountiful Harvest. Well, I don't know why you'd be so interested in such things, but come, then, follow me. Because I'm on a mission, bro. An old book I read long ago said that the king's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly that steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out more for yourself. I don't know why I added for yourself. That was not in the dialogue. Oh. There are all kinds of books about the Cron Tundra. Which book would you like to read? The King's Proud Steed, of course. The host Pokemon gave over its power to serve the King and carry it hither and thither. Hither and thither? Hither and thither, I don't know. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a force in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all of its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secure its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there's another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can now say which is tr truth. Would you like to check any other books? Uh... I guess hardy crops for the tundra? While carrots me grow in the tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, shadow shade root carrots will be grown. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for Pokemon Ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in ice root carrots. According to the old fairy tale, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seems to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting ice root carrots, and the other mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Okay, well, now we just know that's the two that we need to find. Unless they actually want me to read more. Oh, it says report back to Calyrex. Okay, so we can do that. Okay, again, he's still being like a little bit creepy there. I guess we'll just get confirmation from him on what his steed like to like to eat. Or what his steed even look like. Crown crown. Crown. From crown crown. Hmm. Oh hey, the chief, I had a feeling something called me. Was it you? Huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Human child, were you able to find something out about my loyal steed? You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist? It's been so long since we wrote together, I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Carrots. <laughs> oh ho, carrots you say? Yes, yes. 
I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I'm in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lower my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of this village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. So I need to get some more dynite ore to get something like that. Because how much dynite ore do I have, actually? Because I don't remember. Um, dynite ore, dynite ore. It's not there. Where would it be? Oh look, I, I know I have Dinah Ore, because we got it from doing that first adventure. Oh, I have nine. So why did that guy give me a seed? Let's let's go talk to that guy and get a seed. Cause then we can we can grow it. Oh, you're looking for carrots. Well you won't be finding any of this time of the year, we do have seeds. Would you like to trade eight pieces? Yes. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our field to make our crops huge. Here us the seeds as promised. Don't go planting those seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. Those, these fields are for our own crops. Bro, I'll do whatever I want. If I want to plant over here, I will. I'll look at Needle Queen struggling to keep up. I'm so sorry, Needle Queen. Have you found the carrots, human child? By the stars, you say that you have carrot seeds? That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots. You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your in <laughs> ingenuity. Okay. You, you didn't know we could, we could have our own seeds? And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich salt, we could use my parents to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. Another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. Okay. Either location should allow me to use my power and grow the carrots we need. Please ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Okay. What in the- I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep inside. Uh, I guess it just goes to show you that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Okay, bro. But alrighty. Um, you marked the two fields Calyrex told you about. Anymore. So now you get to choose. So I guess whatever this steed is, we get to end up choosing its type. I don't know. So you can choose if you want it to be a ghost type, if you want it to be an ice. We'll find out next episode, guys, because... I'm definitely ending off right here, but if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like for the video. Help the video a lot, and I'll subscribe to my channel. It helps with the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.